Okay, so welcome sa part 2 ng Ichimo Cooking Kohayo Definitive Masterclass natin. Uh, so for today, uh, I'll be discussing the most basic elements of time theory in relation sa Kijun Sen and sa Tenkan Sen. Uh, but before that, I wanted to show you yung Ichimo Cooking Kohayo once it's on a chart and just identify the five elements we discussed off last time one by one para clear tayo which is which as you can see in this chart tinanggal ko muna yung volume no enough ko para lang uh, walang ibang distraction and i'm using the index chart again para walang bias whatsoever so the first thing is itong yellow line okay itong yellow line which is the tenkan sen the red line which is the Kijun Sen. The green line, which is the Chiku Span. Now, the cloud that you see in between is the Kumo. And the Kumo, as I said before, is made up of Senku Span A, which is nasa taas. And then Senku Span B, which is nasa baba. Or rather, nasa baba siya kapag bullish yung cloud, kapag color blue in my case. And nasa taas naman yung Senku Span B kapag ka bearish yung cloud. And the same for Senku Span A, nasa taas kung bullish yung cloud, nasa baba kung bearish yung cloud. Okay? Uh, I'm just gonna show you the settings really quick. So, inputs is yung default, 926.52.26. And the reason for that is, while you could decide to change it in the future, for now, uh, we're gonna stick sa premise and philosophy mismo nung gumawa. Para lang... Kumbaga, kuha natin yung essence niya, di ba? If mas naintindihan nyo na and you wanna change the numbers, by all means, go ahead. But for now, this is what we'll be sticking to. And then the conversion line, when you check your ano, uh, indicator settings, is the uh, Tenkan Sen, again, yellow. Baseline, Kijun Sen. Kasi yung Kijun means base, sa Japanese, no? Lagging, Chiku Span. Okay, again, Chiku means lagging. And then, the lead 1 and the lead 2 are Senku Span A and Senku Span B. As you can see, tinatanggal ko na lang siya. Kasi kita mo naman na siya sa Kumo. Diba? Uh, I don't need another marker na may Chiku Span A or Chiku Span B doon. And then finally, is yung uh, background. Okay? Ito yung Kumo Cloud mismo. So for today's discussion, I'll be removing everything but the Chiku Span, ay, but the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen. Okay? Para lang hindi magulo sa chart, no? Now, first and foremost, one of the confusion ng karamihan ng tao when it comes to Ichimoku, lalo na kapag binabasa lang nila online, is nagagamit siya mostly for signals. So, TK Crossover, uh, kumo twist, and whatever other terms you may have gathered from the internet kapag nag research kayo, no? And I'm not saying that these don't work. What I am saying is, hindi siya yung primary uh, concept or primary philosophy nung gumawa when he made this. Ginawa niya to, to number one, help people spot equilibrium Kaya nga, di ba, noong unang lesson, paulit-ulit ako na equilibrium yung importante, equilibrium yung importante. And pangalawa, to help people try and stay one step ahead. Now, yung one step ahead na portion, we will discuss that even further moving forward. Okay? We, we will barely touch on it today. But, yung equilibrium portion, that's what we're gonna discuss today in relation sa time theory. Okay? Ano ba yung time theory? Time theory is a sequence of numbers. Okay? So, it's based around a sequence of numbers called Kihon Suchi. Type lang natin. Ay, lihon tuloy. Kihon Suchi. Okay? Yung Kihon Suchi is based on a sequence of numbers. So, it's 9, 17, 26, 33, and so on and so forth. Na pinaggamitan or pinaghugutan ng karamihan ng numbers na ginagamit natin for Ichimoku and for time theory. Now, 
what do I mean? Okay? If you look back, okay, sa tanggalin ko na to, ha? If you look back, and then let's focus for now sa Tenkan Sen muna. Let's remove the Kijun Sen. Whenever price breaks out of Tenkan Sen, like here, no? Uh, then you choose yung cyclic lines. Then you count 9 periods. Kasi bakit 9 periods? Kasi 9 periods yung Tenkan Sen, no? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? So when you count 9 periods, you will see na more or less, doon bumabalik yung price equilibrium. So if you look here, let's start with this. Okay? Dito tayo nag-breakout. When did it return to equilibrium? Around the ninth candle. So, as with everything else, same with support and resistance, you need to give it some allowance. Ako, personally, I give it plus minus one. So as you can see, we came back sa ninth candle, almost hit it, but uh, let's just move this to the back. Almost hit it, but ito talaga yung tumama tayo. So plus minus one. We broke down. Okay? Then here, wala pa. Diba? Hindi siya laging consistent. Nagbibilang tayo based upon mga times na nag-break out siya and times na nag-break down siya. Or bumabalik rather sa equilibrium. So, in this case, see here how we uh, try to break above. Bumalik tayo, dun na naman. Price moved higher. We broke down. Bumalik tayo for equilibrium. Nandun na naman. Obviously, you need to adjust this. Hindi siya laging 99999, no? Obvious, kung ganun lang, di sana ang dali, di ba? But you have to adjust this whenever there's breakout. So, again, let's find another one, no? Uh, let's say this one. Nag-breakout tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, breakout. Then we find equilibrium after 9 periods. So, yun yung ibig ko sabihin uh, about equilibrium. Diba? Na important siya sa Ichimoku na whenever we break out, whenever we uh, find an imbalance sa price, eventually, hahanapin at hahanapin yung equilibrium. Ganon, ganon talaga yung market eh. It can't go up forever and it can't go down forever. Eventually, it needs to find a balance. Ito rin yung sinasabi ko na possibly looking one step ahead. Again, we will discuss this further but the basic concept is Kung nakapasok ako dito, tas may awareness ako nung time theory na sa short term, maaaring 9 candles lang ang tinitingnan ko. Okay? Then, if I'm a short term trader, I would be aware when yung possible peak and when yung possible pullback for each cycle. Diba? Now, the same holds true for Kijun Sen. Okay? So, same thing, no? Uh, but this time, let's make it easier on ourselves. Let's uh, draw the range. So, this one, let's do 26 candles. Okay, 26 bars. Uh, here, no? So, same thing. We broke up here. When did we find balance again? Around here, diba? Dito almost came close, but dito talaga bumalik tayo. Plus minus one. Okay? Dito, we broke down. Diba? We broke down, Kijun Sen. When did we regain balance? After 26 cycles. Diba? And then, uh, there are instances na ganito, na may chop, wala kang talagang magagawa doon. But again, let's look for another example. Let's use the same one. Here, we broke out. Okay? Here, given, plus minus one. Bumalik tayo, no? We refound equilibrium here. Diba? So, yun nang sinasabi ko na important sa equilibrium. You need to find balance. But also, it helps you distinguish when prices are out of balance para you are able to identify who is winning on the short and midterm. Okay? Now, this bit is a bit more controversial in the sense na I personally view it this way. 
Ichimoku Sanjin may not view it this way, but for me, when price is above the Tenkan Sen or the Kijun Sen, it signifies who is winning at the time. So if price is above Tenkan Sen, for me, in the short term, buyers are winning. If price is above the Kijun Sen, then in the short term, uh, in the medium term, mid term, buyers are winning. And obviously, the opposite also applies. If price is below Tenkan Sen, then in the short term, sellers are winning. If price is below Kijun Sen, and then in the short term, sellers are winning. Okay? So, kapag kaganon, if I know that the buyers are winning, then obviously, we look for up moves. Diba? We look for up moves. We look for ways to enter, get into the trade based on however we trade. Now, even though I say na hindi signals ang basis ng paggawa ng Ichimoku, meron pa rin akong konting signals na i-share sa future. In future videos, no? wag muna ngayon kasi gugulo eh. But suffice it to say, na if we're looking for Kunyari, lalo na ganito, it's above both Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen, then we're looking for buys for both the short and the midterm. And that's how I personally trade, no? I don't trade long term, eh. Sorry, medyo masakit lang lalamunan ko. Okay? So, we'll be looking for ways to enter the trade to move up while keeping in mind na in the short term, okay, na baka bumalik tayo sa equilibrium kapag base sa Tenkan Sen in anywhere from 8 to 10 periods, kapag sa Kijun Sen, anywhere from 24, ay 25 to 27 periods. But obviously, again, it's not going to be super precise, but more or less, it's there. So, now that you know, hopefully, uh, you start looking at Ichimoku in a different light. Okay? Even with just the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen, Huwag na natin silang isipin as moving average. Bakit? Kasi as I said nung first video, uh, ang, ang moving average is usually based sa close nung sa closing price nung ano uh, ng market. Okay? Nang chart. So, kunwari, ito ang closing price niya is 6,019. Tapos, ito ang closing price niya is 7,009. Then, the way we calculate that is we take yung closing prices for all the candles from here until there, then divide it by the number of candles in between. ba? Sa Ichimoku, hindi ganon. So, we take the low. Okay. Sorry, we take, still getting used to this uh, path tool. Okay, we take the whole low and the high of the past X number of periods, whether it's 9 periods or Tenkan Sen or 26 periods or Kijun Sen, then we divide it by 2. Everything else in between, hindi natin siya binibilang. And that's also why, since the primary indicator that I use when I do use indicators is Ichimoku. When I do fibs, I take it from high to low. Kasi alam ko, that's how Ichimoku is calculated. So I want everything else that I use to be in confluence or in conjunction with that. Okay? So clear naman so far, no? Kung meron po tayong questions... Uh, please post it sa comment section below. I want to get back to you. I want to interact with you guys. Uh, and I want to make sure na maganda yung pacing ko. Hindi ako masyado nagmamadali. Eh, hindi rin ako masyado nagbabagal. But I'm trying to ensure din kasi na kahit na bago ka sa Ichimoku, may natututunan ka sa akin kahit papano. And you can slowly wake your way up para maging kasabayan mo. Yung mga mas bata ka na. Yung mga mas sanay na ng konti, maaaring may mga nasasabi ako na alam nyo na, pasensya na. But hopefully, meron din ako mga, mga natuturo na either hindi nyo pa alam or hindi pa kayo ganang familiar. Okay, with that said, that's the end of uh, the second lesson. Um, good luck and happy trading!